Today we're reproducing this mahogany uh, side chair and particularly these details that are here, 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 and here are all done the same way. There, it's, it, this is called a bead and we're using a classic beading tool. This tool is, an, is a vintage one. It actually says here the patent date is February 9th, 1886. So it's a very old tool. We sharpen and form the blades ourselves to match this profile. So this one here, I've just finished beating. So we'll take it out of the vise and we'll clamp up the next one. Okay, important with beating, important with beating is, come in close here, hun, is what happens is this little shaving gets curled up and gets all tangled up in here. And so this is called being foul mouth because the mouth of the beater gets fouled up. So, so you have to clean that because it's very important that this shoe rests firmly on this side because if it doesn't, your bead is crooked. So now this is just a very kind of a kind of a fun and quiet process. And it takes usually about 10 strokes. That's two. Here's three. And as I'm doing this each time, I'm watching this joint of this shoe's edge and the joint of the board. And once once you get two or three done, it's okay if it's a little foul mouth and you can't see anymore because it tracks pretty good. I think that's about four or five. That's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we need just a pinch more. And it's good. I kind of, I'll let it roll back. See, I got a little problem here. See where this wedge is above the leg? That's holding me up here. So, I got to retune this edge. This is nice because the way this tool is made, it can't go too too deep in either axis. So, so once once you've reached its depth, it doesn't cut anymore. Okay, so there we have it. We just in real time beaded this edge and this edge to match this leg. So you can see that there. So this detail is all done by hand. Only got one more to do. And as we've gone along, this is stock for the side rails and the front rails. And you can see we coved it and beaded it as well. So that stock is made. Here's the crest rail. You can see the small bead here. And we still have, these are the back legs. And they need mortised and then they'll be beaded too. Now what will uh, happen here is right now these legs are ambidextrous, but once we cut the mortises in, then they will become paired lefts and rights and then we'll do our beating. So thank you for watching this video and uh, this detail on this mahogany side chair.